I don't want to be here anymore. So let's go back the way that we came and... Uh, Alright, I choose left this time. We need to head over to the western side. Yeah, you can go straight down as well. Uh, I choose not to right now. Here's a blue one. These are easy enough. Uh, but yeah, they're the same as the scatters. They're just weak to ice instead of lightning. So let's head to the west this time. And this is the higher one. This is the highest one I can seem to go in. No, there is one up here. Let's go up there then. And this takes us to another fight with a, a gin and bar guest. Which shouldn't be a problem for me. Let's head down this way. That opened up. or Well, I don't think it opened up. But we can head this way now to take on... Yeah, same enemies. Just these annoying scouters. Of course, the mages have this ability to lock all your techniques. Guess wh who they used it on? Limea. So, of course, that fight had to be longer than I it needed to be. And we get a star sword out of that chest. Which is something that I want to equip immediately. Since we already got a sword for no one in there, I assume that this is going to be for Vash. It is up by 30 from what he was using. Ridiculous. Um, I probably missed uh, one of the swords along the way that I was supposed to be using, uh, but I didn't purchase anything because I didn't feel like I needed to, to be honest with you. Now we are free to head over here, and this is, this is the same damn room. So can I just head straight out this way? I can't. So there must be two more exits that I'm looking for. There are, but there are also scouters and mages. There are, so, seven exits out of here. This is a ridiculous room, to be honest with you. Uh, can I avoid these guys? I can. I don't want to fight them. I really don't. And in here we get a shockwave, which, based on what we've been getting everywhere else, I have to assume is a weapon. And I know that it's a weapon for Gara. Yeah, it just uh, up so much. And it inflicts chaos randomly. Randomly, not meaning there's a chance to inflict it. So let us go down here and go around this way. We can go around the outside here. I do see that treasure chest, but there's also a secret passage right there. And this leads us to the demon hit. Now that secret passage, I've always hated. I felt like it was kind of out of nowhere. Uh, but it can be equipped on Novin again. Um, and that's going to deal the same amount, uh, but it deals twice as much to magic enemies, but it doesn't give them the bonus to the magic. Uh, it'll depend on what kind of enemy or boss that I'm fighting, depending on which one of those two swords I want to use for him. When I do bring him back eventually. Now, see, this is a huge dick move if you ask me. It, it kind of implies that you have to bring at least Kyra with you, and then hopefully either... Um, Novin or, or Limea in order to, to, to fight these guys. This is not fights that I want to do. Uh, if you if you step on that little square in the middle, they'll bring it. They'll bring uh, the fight to you. All right, so in there we get a Sonic Arrow. They also have a mage in those fights, by the way. Uh, that is an upgrade for Limea, 51 to 78, and it randomly inflicts slow. We're definitely getting a lot of upgrades this episode. This is like the episode. Now I think I can just yeah squeeze on by there and I don't think there's there's any treasure chests on this right here but if we head up here I can grab myself the Kaiser arm which is the last upgrade right last weapon upgrade so it has to be for Bloon. Let's get that on him instead of that doom finger. 105 to 144. Ridiculous. Once again, I think I had missed a, an upgrade for him somewhere along the line. Uh, no treasure chest here, so we are free to move on where I need to go. We need to step on this spot right here, and that should open up a way for us to leave. We need to actually go out here. This is one of the few times you'll, you'll see me run from enemies. I really do not like the fighting these guys. And we can head down here. And here, yeah, we'll take you guys on. Because there is a new enemy here to fight as well. Now, on top of the blue and red scouts, we also have this Thrasher. And he does hit rather hard. 
but I got a critical on him, and down he goes because of the critical. Go um, ice on, on you, and then you can just attack. And you guys can see that it takes way too damn long in order to get these these red scouts to die, or any of the scouts if you if you don't use the element that they're weak to. I refuse to waste MP on them, to be honest with you. I really do. Alright. That's three. Four attacks. We have gotten upgrades across the board, so four is now enough. We have 786 experience and 24 tech points and 750 gold. Now these guys, they can, uh, the red ones especially, they can have this ability called Red Rain, Crimson Rain, something like that. And there's a shiny over there, but I can't get it. And this will inflict about 100 damage and uh, causes HP down. It's ridiculous, actually, that they have something that powerful. But we need to continue on. We can go down here and fight two thrashers and two mages. With them out of the way, we are free to move down here to find more thrashers. Now, you can avoid these people if you want them. See, look, I just avoided that one. But I want to take them all on. If you touch them, they all fly down here, and then you can fight them. Let's take them on. Get them out of the way. We are free to move down here and down more stairs. No thrashes this time, but they are waiting down here. Damn it, stop hitting me with your fire. We do have new enemies down here, though. Uh, yeah, you have to, uh, to avoid that fire. We have lashes, so let's take on the lashes first, uh, because the thrashers do have a counterattack technique that I am not a fan of. Uh, the this they the lashers apparently also have a technique that I am not a fan of. They have an X strike ability. Uh, the thrashers instead have a counterattack that is more refer reminiscent of uh, like twisters uh, but they can both of them can only use this technique uh, when there is multiple instances of the same one so since there was only one lasher he was not going to have a counterattack but now that there are two thrashers left they will have this counterattack the multiple counterattack technique yeah look at that thing freaking tornadoes everywhere i'll probably need to heal after this fight again yeah, just just destroy that one right now. Damn it! They did it again. I'm probably not doing this the, the smart way. I'm, I'm sure there's there's a way to 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 use. Damn it! And it inflict could confuse on blue. I'm sure there's a way to do this using techniques, but I'm trying to save as much MP as I can. Ah, blue, and you missed. So now that there is just one Thrasher left, he will not use the ability anymore. The counterattack ability. Oh, nice! Bloon did what I wanted him to do anyway, even though it's for less damage than usual. You get 1366 experience, 32 tech points, 2200 gold! And to be honest, by this point, in my previous run, uh, I was a little bit ahead. Alright, I do need to heal. Uh, a little bit ahead in tech points than I am right now. Because I know that L Vash uh, had learned Luminaire by this point. Luminaire is awesome. And we do have a new enemy, possibly. Is he gonna run? Yeah, he ran off. Never mind, no new enemy. And there we go. As a result of that battle, I did learn two new techniques. Uh, no no dual text, unfortunately. I don't know why, and I don't know why I keep on doing that when I want to look at the text. It looks like Vash has learned all his texts. Uh, he has learned Luminaire. Ultimate damage on all enemies. Uh, and the other one would be Area Bomb from Bloom. Damage enemy with Melt Beam. He's on his way to learning Shock, which is still a ways off, as is Life 2 for Limeo. Oh, she's a lot closer. Wow. We've been using Lamia really that much? She does need to cure, though. This is why I brought the, uh, the MP half and, and put that on her. So that she can use cure for only one MP. I think it is awesome. And we find Massa? Yeah, Massa. 
The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. We embody Melchior's dreams, sealed within the knife. Now hurry, if you plan to confront the queen, we're counting on you. Then he buggers off, and it's time for another cutscene. Is that what's going on here? It is what's going on here. Ah, I can feel it. The pulse of eternal life. The dark force. Wild energy. <laughs> no. Mm. Grima Worm Tongue approves of this, I think. Yeah, that thing looks menacing as hell, doesn't it? The Mammon Machine. The Mammon Machine, Your Majesty, it's too dangerous. I electrocute you with my hands. Don't stop, Shala, we're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. Too long have I waited. Too long have you waited for what? Immortality? Most people don't get it, really. Like a half a step. We've made it to the next spot. And we do have Jin and a bar guest here. I can take those on. And since there is a safe point here, I will use that. With that done, we are free to move on. We need to go down here. To I don't like the looks of this at all. Okay, so... Does... Does this look like an elevator to you? Elevators are never good. No. Elevator? Oh, it is an elevator. Damn it. Yeah, it's gonna be a gauntlet on the elevator, isn't it? Sure looks like it. Yeah, it's gonna be a gauntlet. I knew it. I smelled that coming. What do you have next for me? Are you serious? And we're done? Come on. Yeah, we're done. Damn that last fight. Uh, okay, so we've made it to the bottom of the elevator. Surely this will... Okay, now you'll let me through. What? I don't understand. Uh, can I go around it? I can go left. And I can go right. I choose to stand on the middle. I don't know what happened. I can still go left, and I can go right. Let's go out here. Did this change at all? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so that wasn't some kind of teleportation thing, so I choose left. O okay. Damn you. I hate you. So damn much. So let's go over here and press this. Switch, which... I don't know exactly what that did. Can I actually use the elevator back up? Because I did see that tab. I did see that tab at the top that I want to get. I can go back up. That is nice. Oh, and it takes me right to the tab that I had in question. Right there. Get a magic tab. And then this one. Oh, I have to like leave the screen and get back on in order to use the elevator. That doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, what the hell? Are you serious? I I'll meet you back down there. Okay, had to go through the gauntlet again. That was not fun. Do I still have to fight you? No, that's still pulled down, which is what I think I need to do. Now let's head over to the right side, and we can pull this down as well. Damn you. Why do you keep splitting like this? And as a result of that battle, now this is something that I did not foresee, Lamia has learned her last tech. She learned life to revive and restore all HP, which is what I thought a dual tech could do, uh, but Lamia does it all by her damn self. Now that leaves only Bloon left that needs to learn techs in this party. Everybody else is maxed out. But in terms of double techs, there are none for life too. At least not with this party. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, but we have also learned Lifeline, our second triple tech of the game. Now this one, it revives and restores all allies once. Uh, I've never actually gotten to use this one, so uh, I, I'm not sure if it's like if everybody dies everybody's revived or if once one person dies one person revives and that's it uh, I like I said I've never had to use it so I'm not sure exactly how it works I'll probably I'll have to look that up 
But we need to go over here and flip this switch like we had planned. Uh, now we can step on this switch. And this... What does this do? Surely that did something. There's nowhere else for me to go. This opens up a... Uh, Holy crap, I parted the lava! Or whatever this is. Yes, I am now Moses in the Ocean Palace. And we head up north here to get a treasure chest full of an elixir. And I can't go either side, but there is a save point, so I'm going to use that save point, and that will do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my faithful party of Vash, Lamia, and Bloon. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.